AppShrink.com here, and today we're taking a look at Direct Opinion for Android. Direct Opinion is available for Android 2.2 and up. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what actually is Direct Opinion. Uh, Direct Opinion is basically an application that will allow you to browse uh, various surveys, create your own surveys, uh, manage your profile that will show up in uh, your survey answers. And of course you could jump into the About section for Direct Opinion and have a nice read of this uh, pretty detailed description of what this application is. But in a nutshell, it enables to create freely your own online surveys with no restriction on topics and or targets. And essentially what's going to happen is you're going to create an account, create your profile. Uh, you'll be able to go ahead and edit your profile information, your profile parameters, and some general settings in this section over here. I will show you the different parameters in a little bit, but first we're going to go ahead and jump into create a survey. And basically in create a survey, you're going to enter uh, some information about your survey. For example, uh, the duration of the survey you could set over here. So let's say we want 24 hours, 24 hours sounds good. So we're going to leave that as is. And we could choose various categories for our survey. For example, uh, we want to create a life survey. So let's go ahead and tap done. And uh, if you would like to target specific people only for this survey, you could go ahead and check this off. And uh, there's gonna be some criteria for that using criteria or using uh, my target list. And you could go ahead and add a target list here. I don't want to create a new one just yet. And we're gonna go ahead and say that we don't want to target only specific people. And we can go ahead and tap create after of course we type in a question so for example um, we could type in do you like ice cream that will be our question pretty universal and we'll go ahead and just dismiss the keyboard and create our survey so there it is the survey is active and when we go to search for surveys, it should appear right below one of the other active surveys. So currently right now we have two active surveys. Um, we already answered this particular one. It says, do you like Android? And we could go ahead and jump into that survey. And if you decided that you don't like Android anymore, simply slide your answer to whatever you would like it to be and go ahead and tap answer. But we like Android here. We like doing Android reviews, so let's go ahead and just change that back to maybe a little higher. 71%, let's go. And we could also look at our survey here. Do you like ice cream? Yes, we do like ice cream very much. And we're gonna go ahead and tap answer. So basically what's gonna happen is you'll find active surveys here, and you could also browse the archived surveys. There's lots to choose from. You could go ahead and load even more. And there's different things like, would you drive this car, for example? And you could browse the answers. Here uh, you could see that 39 people have received it and three people have responded. And the response rate at these numbers would be 7.69%. And all of the three people decided that they do not want to drive this car. And that's basically the idea. Uh, different uh, surveys will have different information. Different people have answered them. And uh, you'll be able to browse this information. So for example, here we have direct opinion, good or bad. 100% uh, of the people responded like this. However, only two people responded, so that tells you the response rate is 5.56%. And if you would like to request detailed information about their demographics uh, and such, you could go ahead and get the detailed results for just $2. We're not going to do that now, but that is available to you. Uh, let's just go ahead and log out, and I will show you what information you could be paying for. So for example, if we just type in some username information, so we have some user information entered. Let's go ahead and tap next, just to view some of the profile info that you'll be able to access. So let's go ahead and tap in a name. So we have our fictional character there. 
tap on next and this is some of the information you will have access to such as birthday uh, their gender where they're from city uh, marital status whether they're living alone and uh, things like this and if we just jump out of here so here we are back to the home screen of direct opinion uh, great survey application very cool uh, definitely something very unique that I've seen on the Android device um, if you like surveys and you like answering surveys or creating your own surveys definitely go ahead and check out direct opinion for Android